Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday to you. Welcome to week number two of thankfulness. As we go for what can we possibly be thankful for on Saturdays in November. And th last week we talked about how we can be thankful that God created us, that God knows who we are. And if you remember, I talked about Jeremiah and encouraged you to read Jeremiah, how um, God knew who Jeremiah was. Everything about Jeremiah when he was still in his mother's womb. Amen. In her belly. Praise God. So we can be thankful that God knows us. And this week we're going to talk about the same kind of thing we talked about this past Sunday. If you remember, uh, this past Sunday we did communion. And we remembered what Jesus did. And that is something to be thankful about. Because without what Jesus did, without his sacrifice and dying on the cross, we would be in a lot of trouble, boys and girls. We would. We would be in a lot of trouble. And uh, we, would, we would be in hell when we died. But Jesus came to forgive us of our sins, to make us clean, to make us white as snow. And uh, that is something to be thankful about. That is something to be thankful about. So, this week, as you think about... Huh? That's a dead dude. So this week, I mean, think about it. All the, we have eternal life through Jesus, which means that, it, that this life is not the end. We get to be in heaven with Jesus, worshiping and thanking God for everything he's given us. That's awesome. That is definitely something to be thankful about. So it, when, as we get closer and closer to Thanksgiving, you know, we're about, about two weeks away from it by now. And we're getting closer and closer to Thanksgiving. And when that time comes, when your families ask and they gather around and they talk about what they're thankful about, that is a huge thing to say that you're thankful for, is that God has saved you by his son Jesus. That you have forgiveness. That you're on your way to heaven if you believe in Jesus. If you ask him into your heart. That is something to be thankful for. Amen. That is something to be thankful for, boys and girls. That is a reason to rejoice. And of course, as, I, as we've said, it's not always just something to be thankful for in November. It's something to be thankful for all the time. You know, on Sunday nights here at the church, you guys don't usually hear it because you're either doing kids' night out or, or, or movie night or hanging with Mrs. Mary, whatever it may be. But there are people, adults, in the sanctuary who every time we ask for a testimony or something that they're thankful for, there are people who every week say, I am glad for what Jesus did for me. And that's how we should be. We should always be glad that Jesus did for, for us. Well, next, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, make sure you come tomorrow uh, as we are wrapping up our, our space series. We're kind of coming to an end. Uh, it's not the last one tomorrow, but it's the second to the last one tomorrow. And we are going to be talking about something that is not easy to do at all. It's something that the adults, people just like me, can oftentimes struggle with. So come on out that tomorrow. Of course, we got breakfast at 9, Sunday at school at 10, kids, church at 11 with praise and worship, and Pastor Buddy upstairs at 11 as well. Then we have kids play practice. Guys, it is six weeks before our Christmas play. Uh, so we are almost there. We have passed, well, we're, we're kind of going into the halfway mark and coming up to it. It's going to be here before we know it. So we got that from 2 to 4, and we also have... Church at night, 6 p.m. And tomorrow is camouflage day at 11 o'clock. So we're going to come wearing some camo or some orange, whatever it is. Uh, make sure you wear that, okay? God bless you and be safe.